Hey guys, what's going on? All right, got another uh, video for you. Uh, this is uh, Ray Leonard, Sugar Ray Leonard, one of the greatest of all time. Uh, so these clips are going to be kind of grainy, guys. You know, they won't be the best quality or anything, even though it says full HD. It's not HD. But uh, anyway, yeah, of course, these clips are from the 70s and 80s. So back when production wasn't anywhere near what it is now or what it would be even 10, 20 years later. But uh, yeah. So let's get into it, guys. He was a uh, welterweight and junior middleweight and middleweight. Uh, even fought at a uh, super middleweight, I believe, at one point. I think he beat Donnie Lalonde in 87. I think that was at 168. So just amazing career. Um, he, of course, retired for a while, for five years in 1982. Came back to beat Marvin Hagler. Um, in 1987 and everything, which was insane. People thought he was really going to, you know, get badly damaged at that time uh, because he had a, you know, he had a something wrong with one of his eyes, you know, and that prevented him from fighting for quite a while. And he, you know, saw Hagler fighting John Mugabe and Hagler won that fight. But he said, you know, I see something so that he could exploit, that he could... He saw a way to win that he thought he could beat him, and so he came back for the fight. So, you know, that was in 1987. A lot of people questioned that decision. I didn't. I thought Leonard clearly won the fight. It was, you know, not a difficult one to score at all. But uh, anyway, let's get into these highlights. These are uh, top 10 knockouts. Now, that's pretty good quality there. So, oh, and just, guys, his combinations were just unbelievable. Um, you'll see it. I'm sure, I'm sure we'll see some, but I mean... Just the way he could just rattle off like 10 to 15 punches out of nowhere was just ridiculous. I've never seen any fighter ever in the history of boxing be able to do what he did with, with his just, you know, insane combinations. So, I mean, and I mean, I'm not saying he's the fastest ever. He's definitely one of the fastest ever. I mean, he could be, but, um, oh, whew. but, uh, God, I mean, All right, guys, let's keep going. That was a wonderful knockout there. Just a two-punch combination, I believe. Oh, did he get... No, he didn't get back up, really. It's the same guy. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Insane. Yeah, just speed, accuracy, power. He had a lot of power. I mean, and he's Angelo Dundee, you know. He took me as far as, you know, as far as... He did look at what he did for my career so he he told Leonard to go and you know work with him and everything and I'd say it worked out pretty well look at these look at this combination oh my god look at this holy shit oh he's gone ref damn <laughs> mm. but yeah so anyway guys uh, yeah Leonard was not uh, planning to uh, turn pro all he ever wanted to do was win a gold medal, and he did that in 1976 uh, at the Olympic Games. This was before they wore headgear or anything, but uh, yeah, he got a, I believe he got a knockout. Oh, there's uh, Floyd Mayweather's dad, uh, um, Floyd Sr. So he um, he did last the distance with Leonard, uh, boy, or maybe Leonard got a late, a late round, knock, a last round knockout. Okay, yeah. He went pretty far with him, though. Yeah, I think he stopped him in the 10th round. Okay. Yeah, he obviously stopped him because it's a knockout. <laughs> yeah, Mayweather Sr., not nearly the fighter that his son was, of course. But, you know. He got up twice. Damn. Surprising. That was a pretty brutal knockdown, that last one. Woo. Yeah, he thought it was over. He's going to keep going. Oh, my God. He did the Ollie shuffle. Mm. Mm. Yeah, he stopped it there, I think. Yeah. He got the weight round. I think it was only scheduled for 10 rounds, too, and he got the 10th round knockout. I believe. I might be wrong on that. Does. Bruce Finch, I believe, is this guy's name. Whew. Fighting off the ropes. But, I mean, just... Oh, my... Look at those blistering, fast, fast combinations. But, guys, um, the thing I'm mentioning with the combinations... Uh, wasn't, I don't, I don't, I mean, yes, he put some brilliant combinations together, of course, to, uh, you know, in fights and everything when he got the knockouts, obviously, but sometimes just during a fight, take the Hagler fight, for instance, uh, you know, a lot of times at the last 10, 20, 30 seconds of the round, he would just unload 
with punches. I mean, he was throwing like 15 to 20 punch combinations. I mean, no, I, I've never seen anybody in the history of boxing uh, do that as well as he did. I mean, and he did that all through his career. He would just out of nowhere, just throw 10 punches, right? You know, just out of nowhere, not necessarily at the end of the round. Always. He did that to, you know, cause the judges pay attention at the end of the rounds, of course. But I mean, he, he was winning the rounds anyway against Hagler most of the time, but yeah, that just cinched it for him, of course, even more so. But, uh, yeah, he had a brilliant game plan there, but, um, his combinations, he would just, I mean, just out of nowhere, guys, just throw 10, 15 punch combinations on the regular. And, I mean, it was just ridiculous. I've never seen speed like that. Now, guys, uh, you know, for those that have actually seen Ray Robinson, Sugar Ray Robinson, you know, maybe he did it too. It seemed like he definitely had the ability from the little bit I've seen of him. Of course, not many of his fights are, you know, on film to see. Like, he was in the 40s and 50s, maybe 60s, I'm not sure. But what I've seen, very impressive, obviously. And he, he had that kind of, you know, ability to throw, you know, a bunch just out of nowhere. But, I, I mean, of course, I haven't seen him nearly as much as Leonard. So, you know, I'd have to give the edge to Leonard, obviously, just because I've seen him more. This is Wilfred Benitez. Yeah, Benitez, this was uh, Leonard's first title win. Um, he, he got him in the 15th round, yeah. Or 14th round, maybe, but yeah, very late round. And Wilfred Benitez is an all time great uh, from Puerto Rico. And he became a champion, a world champ at 17 years old, guys. That was just absolutely unheard of, still unheard of. So, turned pro at a very early age, obviously, to make some money. He, uh, yeah, became champ at 17. So, this is the very end of the fight. Yeah, and he gets him. Wow. Oh, he stopped it. Okay. I know the Donnie Luan knockout will be there. It is right here. <laughs> this is brutal. <laughs> hmm. And this was, yeah, this was 87, 88. It's maybe 88. I don't know. Oh. There's Richard Steele was the ref. Damn, he did that a long time. He was around forever. Oh guys, I don't. This might have even been light like heavyweight. No, it couldn't have been light like heavyweight. Could it? No, I'm pretty sure. Look at that bolo punch. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Jeez, laid him out. I can't believe he's even getting up as well as he is. They stopped it, of course. But he, I mean, and Leonard was moving up in weight and still carrying that power. Just unbelievable. There's Tommy Hearns, of course. This is the first fight. He gets the knockout in the 14th round. And of course, the legendary comments from his trainer, Angelo Dundee. You're blowing it, son. You're blowing it in the corner. And, you know, Tommy Hearns was winning the fight. He was ahead on the scorecards, I believe. And uh, This was in 82 or 81, maybe. 81, I think. Or maybe, maybe even 1980. I'm not really sure, guys. But, yeah, somewhere in there. And people were betting... All they had on Tommy Hearns to just destroy Leonard. I don't know. Uh, Leonard only had the one loss against Roberto Duran. So, but Hearns was a monster. He was just a brutal, brutal one punch knockout artist. And just uh, he, was, of course, Tommy the Hitman Hearns. You know, so that name says it all. He was <laughs> literally laying people out. You know, in that ring, and Leonard, Leonard got the best of him. Just an all-time great. The all four, the four, you know, greats of the welterweight, of, you know, of that era, Hagler, Duran, uh, Hearns, Leonard, they all fought each other, you know, so credit goes to them for that, of course. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, he's gone. He was just gone. Oh, my God. Whew. It's just, that's just scary, scary power, scary speed. I mean, look at this. Oh. Laid him out right there. Nothing. He was out. And his head hit the canvas, too. Unbelievable. So, guys, I'm going to say this. And you might disagree with me. I don't know. But uh, Floyd Mayweather, obviously, one of the best fighters ever, of course. And I wouldn't really pick against him, you know, 
in any era, really. I would say he probably beats any welterweight, any junior middleweight. And, of course, when he was at lightweight, I don't see anybody in history of boxing now or before he came. And, obviously, when he was around because he fought him and beat him. But that could beat Floyd Mayweather, that I would favor or pick over Floyd Mayweather. I think he would beat them all in any era. But one guy, this guy right here, Sugar Ray Leonard, if they were to fight and I had to place a bet on it and I had to give a prediction, I would actually have to pick Ray Leonard. I would say Ray Leonard would beat Floyd Mayweather. Uh, and, um, you know, that might not be a popular opinion. I don't know. Maybe a lot of you agree with that. You know, sometimes you either hate Floyd Mayweather or you love him. You know, I love it. I love his style. I love, I love the way he fights and everything. People call him boring. They just don't understand boxing, you know, is my thought on that. But, uh, yeah, so just <sighs> Leonard was so powerful. And Mayweather's defense was unbelievable. But... I mean, if Leonard was to let go, you know, just out of nowhere, here and there, you know, just over and over, those 10, 15, 20 punch combinations like he would do, I don't see Mayweather standing up to that. I mean, yes, he'd slip some, of course, and he'd, he, used his, he would use his shoulder roll, but a lot of those would get through. I mean, he's never fought a guy with the speed of Sugar Ray Leonard, I don't think, and definitely not somebody that was as powerful as Leonard with the speed and with the ability to throw so many punches over and over and over continuously during the rounds, 10, 15, 12, you know, just blistering fast, brutal, fast, uh, punching, powerful, sorry, brutal, fast, powerful combinations, and not three, four punches combinations, guys, not, you know, like that. But even like 8 to 10 would be crazy now. I mean, and he was doing 10 to 15, 12 on a regular basis throughout fights. So if he was to do that to Mayweather, I'd have to give the edge to Leonard in that fight. And guys, I don't even, I mean, I don't even really see it going the distance. And that pains me to say that because, I mean, and I love Ray Leonard, but Floyd Mayweather, you know, is on my all-time favorite list. He's higher than Leonard. I like the way he fights just a little better. Um, I mean, both of them, they're top top 10 fighters for me, favorite fighters of all time for sure. But I, I like Mayweather's style just a little bit better. But I mean, damn, Leonard is a monster. He's a beast. I mean, I just don't see Mayweather standing up to that for 12 rounds or 15 rounds, whatever it would be, whatever era they would have fought in. If you match them up, let me know your thoughts on that. Let me know how you think Leonard uh, rates, you know, against the all-time welterweights, you know, against the all-time greats, the people of now. Do you see anybody now that you would that you think could have, you know, held a candle to Leonard? Do you think Mayweather could have uh, done anything with Leonard? Uh, anybody else from before Leonard's era? Let me know in the comments what you think, guys. Do you think Ray Leonard could have just beat pretty much anybody of any era? I do. So anyway... Let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed those uh, highlights. Those were some brutal knockouts, of course. Uh, we didn't really get to see, you know, like the 15, 20 punch combinations because those happened a lot of times where he didn't knock the guy out. And yes, you know, maybe he didn't sit down on him, of course, a lot. But hey, they still had some power, trust me. So uh, anyway, yeah, guys, just go look at some Leonard fights. See what you think. If you haven't seen a lot of him, like I say, I uh, when I got, you know, deeply religiously into boxing and everything over 20 years ago, you know, that, of course, was way past since he had fought and everything. So I tracked down fights on eBay, stuff like that, back when not everything was just on YouTube out there for anybody to see at any time. You know, I tracked down fights of the old fighters, and I've seen about 30, 40 Leonard fights. So, you know, I've seen a good bit of him. So anyway, guys, all right, I'm going to get out of here. Hope you enjoyed that. All right, I am gone.